to a thousand people milling about the harbour area. But Jock, of course, was absolutely in his element in the open air. He had a fantastic voice. Yeah. Someone once paced out his voice um, when he was at the Bangor Convention and the voice could be heard a mile away from where he was speaking without amplification. And on that Saturday night, when God moved in an amazing way, he started preaching on a very unusual text from uh, the, the prophecy of Isaiah, uh, which visualizes Messiah coming, wading up to the hips in the blood of his enemies. It's really quite a kind of strong stuff. But they, they said by the time Jock was finished, the place was like a battlefield. There were people lying about all over the place, crying out to God for mercy. And he was moving among them. My imagery is like Florence Nightingale at the Crimea, uh, attending to wounded soldiers, uh, trying to comfort people and encourage them and point them to God. That's what happened on that Saturday night. The actual moment of revival was not what we might call happy clappy celebration. It was actually a sense of reverence and fear. People fell prostrate in, in, in the fear of God. And uh, of course, by describing it like a battlefield, there was some sense of alluding perhaps to the, the context that that imagery was in people's minds of, of the First World War, that there was a sense that God was to be feared and uh, this was a God who uh, was ruler and king. And I think that, that was the spirit of that, of this age, the expectation that Christ was coming back. And so th this part of the renewal was dubbed the Fisherman's Revival. Because some folk were very reluctant to go out to sea until they'd made their peace with God. And there were some folk bringing fisher lassies and fishermen to Jock and to Douglas and to other workers in the place that they would give them spiritual counsel so that they would feel a kind of peace of mind to go out to sea. A number of the, sh of the boats went home well filled with people who had had some spiritual experience and as the boats approached their home port uh, the singing on the boats was being echoed by the folk in the land because the news had spread and so they went right up the coast spreading the message of how God had been at work among them. Jock sent home his tools and never needed them again, never used them again for the rest of his life. That was him finished being a cooper.